Hey guys, I gotta shoot another video on this Flizza knife. This is the Flizza bushcraft knife, Scandi grind and D2 steel. I did another video on it, and the video was in like uh, 360 HP or something. I, I was like, oh no, HD. I mean, um, so I had to reshoot it. So hopefully, I can get all the same information in for you guys. Um, it just looked horrible. So here we go again. This is the Flizza. It is made in China. Comes in this black box here, just a generic black box. And that's the number that you're looking for. And you'll find it on Amazon for $25. So this thing is very inexpensive. Comes with a real leather sheath that has this kind of weird, kind of plasticky. It's not like plastic, plastic. It just has this weird coating on it. And I, I kind of wish they wouldn't have done that, but you know, it is what it is. It's a it's a low budget knife, so it's amazing that it actually has a sheath that retains the knife really well. And um, I can't really say anything really bad about it for what I paid for it. So it's a good thing. It holds the knife a lot better than in my Benchmade Bushcrafter, which is just sloppy and not stitched really well. Look how crooked the stitching goes. And people know how expensive these knives are. They're outrageous. But here's the D2 steel. You can see kind of a yellowish glow with my lighting in here. But D2 has a golden slight patina to it. That has this kind of weird um, faded kind of golden look to it. It's hard to explain. Kind of copperish in a way. The plunge line. And this thing is amazing. So I'll try to get up there. Look at the plunge line on this. It's almost near perfect. You got a nice big Scandi grind, four millimeter stick. So it's a very hefty knife. The tip is near perfect too. It might be off a hair, but can't really tell. And the handle grips. These scales look a lot like a backer style scale of their bigger knives. Um, has a little belly here. It doesn't have any palm swell. It comes in micarta wood and G10 black handles. And uh, this micarta is nice. I like it. It's smooth. It's not too grippy though. Um, it feels just right. I don't have any hot spots. You got no sharp edges getting you anywhere. I just. Yeah. I'm just amazed. I really love this knife. You can see the D2. And I took it outside and I hammered it or um, actually chopped on some really hard branches to make sure that that Scandi grind is going to hold up for you guys. I don't want to say, you know, it's a great knife and then you get it and it just can't hold up to heavy duty tasks. Um, I did some heavy duty stuff with it and I will do more on camera when the weather gets better here so hopefully tomorrow or the next when i get some time i'll do another video on this knife outside but i want to compare it to the garberg if you've already seen my older my other video you're going to be like yeah we've seen this before but i'm sorry guys could not leave that video it looked horrible but my garberg came with a v cut out of the plunge line so it's got this really crazy, huge secondary bevel. I mean, look at that secondary bevel. It's almost like a pocket knife size. I mean, it's just crazy how much they took off. And you can see how they do it. The, the blade was a lot longer. The machining went too far down. But that is how far it goes down if you look at the other Mora knives. This is usually a smoother transition. But they take off a bunch of steel that, if Mora kept that steel on there, this would be a better knife. It would be like this practically. They're literally eliminating a lot of steel to get that secondary micro bevel, which is horrible. This thing won't cut good. It skips on wood. It, I mean, you can get curls, but it's so uneven. It's just some places it's sharp like right there it's not and then it starts to get sharp at the tip a little bit but it's like you're forcing the knife to have to do what it's supposed to do 
drives me nuts. So I'm going to have to go and do a zero grind. And I will fix it and maybe show that on video. Um, maybe how I do it if I get the time. And then I'll show you the finishing when it's done. And let's see, we compare it to this Prodigy by Gerber. It's very similar in size, a little bit smaller, but same thickness as a strong arm or a Prodigy from Gerber, which is another great knife. You can put your own edge on there, and these things turn into wood crafting beasts. They're really, really good knives. And then I compare it to the uh, Benchmade Bushcrafter. Very like the likeness is really really close got a lot of sirens going by we don't get that a ton out here like that but anyways four millimeter blades pretty much same thickness and you look at the sides they're almost identical in, in size and shape in a sense big big price difference though and this knife was a pain. It was all crooked to handle. I had to fix the handle. It's just a mess. But anyways, this knife here, guys, I, I just can't pass up. I had to review this thing. There's two other channels that reviewed it. Go check them out. And I wanted to save people money, new newbies to the knife world, or anybody, honestly. It's so cheap. It's like you just can't pass it up. It's such a good deal. But if you're somebody new and you don't have a ton of money, this is an awesome deal. This knife is going to do everything you need it to do for $25. It's just awesome. If you want to put knife handles on it or other scales, you can take these handles off and do some birch wood handles if you want. That's probably what I'm going to do with it. Maybe some micarta, some different micarta and make it thicker. But I'd actually like to put some liners and some wood handles on there. But... I think right now, honestly, that these these knives, this is the Enzo that I reviewed in, or showed in another video. The Enzo Elver is $49.99 at um, DLT Trading, and this thing is amazing. $25 for the Amazon, $49 for the DLT. This is 12C27N uh, stainless Sandvik steel with your D2 on this one. You can't lose getting either one of these knives. Yes, this one's more, but it is awesome. With it being shorter, you'll have more control with your cuts than you will with this. But this does have a finger guard, so if you're somebody who's new and you want to have a little bit more safety, or if that's just how you like your knives, this would be a great pick. Plus, you can baton bigger wood with this than you can with this. But I, I like to let all the knife guys know, because I think this is a great deal for any knife guy. This is an awesome knife. You just got to put the pins in, put the handles on, because it comes as a kit. So you have to put it together, but it takes hardly any skill at all, guys. Just epoxy glue, screw in the, the pins, and then you're ready to go. Just a little bit of sanding, and there you have it. So I seriously feel like that is like the best budget deal that you can get on a bushcraft knife online. I, I don't know of any other knife that you can get at that price for that type of blade that type of quality amazing plunge line awesome grind nice belly sharp spine that cut my finger in the last video so there's blood down here on the table I was like where'd that come from yeah I cut my finger on the spine the spine is very sharp so I do know that but it just it's such a good cutter so I'll end this with that these two knives it's like effortlessly easy to do curls with this it like takes nothing it's such a dialed in edge that if this had a different brand name on it you'd be paying 130 bucks for it guaranteed it'd be a little bit more refined with the handle and maybe a better sheath. Well, definitely a better sheath, but who knows, depending on who would make it. But if this had another brand name on it, this knife would sell for a lot more. So you are definitely, I gotta be careful, because this is definitely sharp and my thumb is hurting, so. 
But anyways, guys, get yourself one. Don't pass it up. It's worth it. But I know if you're anti-China um, blades, I totally understand. I, the way things are right now, I get it. So, But if you like this one, it's made in either like the Netherlands or Finland or something like that. I'm not positive which um, country it is, but it's overseas. And if you want to go that route, get this Brizza Enzo Elver. And they're not going to be around anymore. They're not going to make them. So once they're gone, they're gone, guys. And DLT Trading is the only people that have this, as far as I know. So anyways, guys, God bless. Sorry I had to shoot another video. I'll post it up, and then I'll leave the other one, too, and I'll let people know that I had to make a new video, and they can go check that one out if they want and re-comment or whatever. So I don't even know if anybody's made comments. Channel's so tiny. But anyways, guys. God bless, and we will see you next time. Take it easy.